Iron Man, Iron Man, can do whatever an iron can. Iron Man, Iron Man, whoops, sorry guys, wrong superhero theme, uh, this isn't Spider-Man, it's Iron Man. Uh, today we have the XM Studios Iron Man Classic. Uh, this is my first Iron Man from uh, XM Studios and I have to say I'm very disappointed. Um, as you can see, mine is all scuffed up, you know, I was uh, looking toward this statue putting a review for you guys, but look at that. It's all, you know, black scuffed up. It looks like it went through uh, factory hell. And I'm very disappointed at the um, quality control. I mean, look at this. It looks like somebody just rubbed a bunch of stuff and how can they let this thing, you know, pass quality control? I can't really believe they did this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to send this back um, to the factory and um, I guess have it um, resend with the new one. Okay, so uh, this isn't indicative for XM, but um, you know, I can't believe we're getting this um, stuff. All right, all right, all right, all right, I'm just kidding. This is Battle Damage, so um, it's designed like that. Uh, it's done very well, as you can see. So uh, before we proceed, uh, let's go back to the beginning um, and uh, see the uh, semi unboxing. And this is done very well. So nothing wrong here, I was just kidding. Uh, very well done, Battle Damage. Uh, so let's go back to the beginning and then uh, we'll proceed, okay? Uh, and I hope you like this one. I do love it, uh, except for it's a few minor flaws. Okay, so it looks like this is a uh, two-layer box. Uh, top layer, you will have the Iron Man bodies, uh, the uh, lower torso, and then uh, on the bottom, you have the base and the arms and the head. Okay, and then uh, this is what the Iron Man box looks like. And it looks like uh, XM's been uh, changing it up a little, so you see um, the Iron Man logo, okay? And then on this side of the um, box, you see the creative team. And then uh, moving on over here, you see a little backstory about Iron Man. Okay, and then uh, <coughs> with the uh, statue, as always, you get a print from XM. Uh, much appreciated for them to uh, include this uh, for free. So that's really cool. And then, you know, you get the jacket to protect it. And um, XM's been doing these booklets. So, um, you know, it helps you to assemble the statue. Iron Man isn't too bad. Uh, someone like Ghost Rider you really need. Okay, so um, let's have a peek inside. So that's what it looks like after it's been assembled. And then uh, this will help you um, put the stuff back. Uh, I guess in the proper order, okay, and place. And then, uh, let's see, we've got next page, and then it just starts out telling you, um, you know, like number one, two, three, and stuff like that, how to put it, uh, how to assemble the uh, statue, okay? And then you've got two different torsos that you can use. And then of course, you know, you have the Ultron uh, robots. And then it gives you a little bit of a story. Okay, and then let's see what else we've got. Here's the alternate, uh, they call it style two. That's the different torso. And of course you can do the uh, um, uh, <coughs> helmeted head. And then of course there's the um, um, plain old head, okay. And this one's pretty simple to assemble. And then it gives you some stuff about uh, registering your product and everything. Caring for your collectibles and all that good stuff. Okay, so let's get the uh, statue assembled and then let's see how it turns out. Alright, so the first thing we have uh, according to the instructions is we're going to take the base out and then we'll put the lower part of the Iron Man on. So that's what the base looks like. It's a rock base and then uh, you can see right there, that's real copper wires. So that's a nice touch that uh, XM's been doing from the beginning, okay? So you have part of, I'm guessing, the Ultron uh, armies of robots. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, nothing too fancy. It looks like uh, the robot has been dismantled. Okay, so we're gonna get the lower torso on now. Okay, this is the lower part of the Iron Man. Uh, as you can see, it's a one pegger. So what we're gonna do is put it in right there. 
and then there's a foot I guess a footprint right here so they make it easy for you okay so uh, that's not too bad and let's see if I can do this uh, one-handed let's see I love one peggers uh, the two peggers not so good because it's much more difficult uh, this thing is a little bit tricky oh there we go all right so the uh, lower half of the body is in uh, nice and fit no gap there okay so uh, let's see what we're doing next I guess we're attaching uh, Ultron's uh, the other Ultron uh, body in okay so let's go retrieve that all right so our next task is to attach uh, one of the ultra Ultron's arms so uh, it's got a cut out so it's pretty easy you just attach it in there like so okay why isn't it going in oh there we go okay and then uh, this is the actual Ultron body uh, so as you can see it's nicely done it's got like uh, real copper wires and they're posable so you can move them out and in and stuff like that okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach them right into that hole right there so it's a magnet or magnetized and it should fit perfectly okay so so far we've got the arm and then uh, whatever the legs um, and then it looks like uh, Iron Man's defeated two Ultra Ultron clones okay and then you have that one okay so uh, I'm guessing the next thing we're going to do is attach the torso so let's go to page 7 and then of course attach the torso so we can pick one of the other um, so let's go with um, I guess the classic torso and then we'll do the arms and everything okay all right uh, before attaching the uh, torsos I just wanted you guys to see the difference um, from the pictures without having them side to side by side it's hard to tell if there's any difference in the design uh, as you can see this one's more rounded so I'm guessing this is more of a classic design and this is more angular like uh, almost triangular shaped as you can see that's the difference okay I guess modern classic so I, I couldn't tell you know from the pictures until uh, you know you put them up uh, next to each other and these things are heavy uh, they're more solid cast the Ultron uh, body is pretty light so I think it's very hollow inside and then, yeah you have the arms and then uh, you have two re arc reactors okay so all you're gonna do is you know just drop them in like that okay uh, however uh, this one's just a dud it doesn't light up this one does uh, so they make it so that the batteries are replaceable okay and then you can hit that switch so I guess it makes sense that um, you wouldn't use two bodies at the same time so while you have the other one um, somewhere so you can just uh, fill it in like that okay so we'll go with the uh, classic first and as you can see uh, it's just plain old magnet you're going to drop it in there like that okay and then uh, we'll drop in the left arm or sorry the right arm and it will rest like right on Ultron's head okay so oh this one's a little bit tricky I guess you can do something like that oh there we go perfect okay and then we rotate it over here and then since uh, Tony's pointing that one okay and then uh, we'll do this one where you can turn on the uh, lights so we'll do it without the lights for now and then we'll, um, we'll just slip right in and this one you can just uh, hold it like that okay so let's uh, do the heads next and then uh, we'll do a 360 all right so for this particular statue you get two heads uh, one of the um, helmeted or mask iron man and as you can see it's done very well it's like it looks like it's um they sculpted it underneath and then they put the face mask over top you know so you got a lot of details but of course they didn't do that um so uh, i'm just gonna insert it in 
like so, and you get the uh, mask Iron Man. Okay. So let's see. So it's um I love this candy apple I guess red, color is very shiny. Uh, this is gloss done right, because it's a pseudo armor, so it should glow. Okay, and then it contrasts uh, with the um, more subdued uh, yellow. Okay, so it's not all um, shiny. Okay, so uh, let me give you a 360 of this with the helmet, helmeted head, and then we'll do the um, uh, unmasked head. Okay, and as you can see, this thing is really done well. Okay. I didn't think it, it looks like Iron Man from, I guess, the videos, but in real life, I can tell you it looks exactly like Iron Man from the comic books anyway. Okay, so let's do a 360, and then we'll switch out the head and the torso, and then uh, we'll turn, even turn on the arc reactor. Okay. All right, guys, it's 360 times with the classic body, unlighted arc reactor, and helmeted head, okay? So it looks like he's coming right at you. This thing is really nice, it's compact. So uh, if you guys have limited um, horizontal space, uh, this would be perfect. Okay, other than the, uh, the left arm sticking out, um, there isn't a lot of uh, horizontal space uh, that needs um, to be displayed. At. Okay, so it's really nice. I, I love the color on this. Looks like XM does a really good job with the Iron Man paint up. Okay, so we're going to take this out and what we're going to do is throw the switch right here and then ta-da! So the off reactor is up and I don't know if you can see that um, since it's pretty uh, bright so um, we'll do 360 quickly because we want to see what the off reactor looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like lit up and if you have uh, ambient um, light lighting, you know, in the in in that sorry, in the evening time, uh, this would be perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this out, and then we're gonna swap it with uh, Tony Stark's face. Okay, so I just wanted you guys to see the front and back 360, and then we're just gonna drop it in like so. Bam. Okay, so we're going to do a 360 with that. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this piece. Uh, I wasn't sure, but since I didn't have an Iron Man uh, Classic, uh, I went ahead and ordered one of these. And it's been uh, a pleasant surprise for me. Alright, so uh, what I'm going to do now is I will uh, switch this torso out for the other one. The modern day, there shouldn't be any difference, uh, other than you know the um, a little bit right there. Okay. Hey, uh, just a quick one in uh, swapping out the torso. Uh, I noticed something that um, when you put the body on first and then you attach the arm, it's a little bit tricky because it's got to clear this uh, Ultron head. Okay. So what you want to do here is go ahead and attach the arm first. Okay. And then when you replace, you put the body on. You don't risk scratching the head, okay? So you can do it that way. And then um, what we can do is attach this here. Okay, and then we'll do the uh, arc reactor. And then um, helmeted head. And then, so this is the um, modern, uh, I guess modern day suit. So it's very similar to the classic, except for some subtle things. Okay, so uh, we'll do a quick 360 for this. Okay, and like I said, uh, you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference unless you um, see them back to back, okay? But it's still nice to have uh, two different torsos. And what we'll do is uh, we'll switch on the light. And we'll do a 360 with the light on and then nothing to see in the back so we'll go through it quickly and then as we go to the front okay 
and uh, we switch out the uh, helmeted head for this one, okay? So we do a 360 for that. So you can either pick either uh, torsos you want. I prefer the uh, classic since this is uh, built as a classic Iron Man. Okay, it's very nicely done. All right, so let's have a close up, and then uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll go to the scorecard. Let's have a closer look at this. Uh, so I've gotten the uh, helmeted head. I don't have the arc reactor lit up, not yet. And then uh, we have the um, modern uh, Iron Man suit. Uh, you can see some form of uh, intake right there. So it's um, a lot of uh, artist interpretation. So going from top to bottom, as you can see, uh, this thing is done really well. Um, so I guess with our first category, we'll go with is sculpting. Okay, so you get this classic Iron Man. And then uh, you have um, two, I'm guessing, Ultron uh, clones. And then it's done well, you know, one's got a missing eye, and then it's got ripped, you know, body. The other one's got two eyes. Would have been nice if, you know, they lit up, but that's just a small pick. And then, um, you know, you have wires that you can pose. So this, you can make them come out if you want. Uh, these are real copper wires. So that's a nice touch. Um, and then you have, part of the leg and then part of the arm and then it's got um, rock base, okay? So for sculpting with this one, uh, this is nicely done. You know, you get um, lines in the suit. It's just not only, you know, a bare suit. So it's done nicely. I don't have any complaints about this. Uh, even the head, like I said before, uh, if you take a closer look, it looks like uh, they might have sculpted, um, you know, the head or the face underneath and then they put the plate on. So that's how detailed it is. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm sure because it's digital sculpting, they didn't do that. But it looks really nice, as you can see with the close-up. Okay. So it gives you that depth. Uh, that um, It's not just an eyeball coming out at the socket, but it's actually, an, um, you know, a face behind that. So it's nicely done. Okay. So uh, for sculpting with this one, um, the only issue I would have maybe is um, with most of the Iron Man statues, it looks like, because he has a pseudo armor on, so it should be thicker than, you know, say a, um, a body, okay? Um, so with superheroes, you know, when they wear tights, okay, you can, you know, their skin tights, so I can, I guess, uh, buy that, but with a pseudo armor on, it should be a little bit larger. Uh, then you know the body to show that it's armored, but then you know Iron Man's using nanotech, so I guess it's like um, tights. <laughs> um, so I can forgive that, and you know the the boots is done well. See, it should be something like this, where it's not quite you know exactly um, conforming to the body. So coming, in, but then this part is too conforming. So underneath his body, you know, it's probably it would you know reason that he's skinny. But then, uh, because it's nanotech, um, you know, it's conforming to the body. So I would have liked this um, body to be a little bit um, larger because he has the suit armor on. But other than that, uh, I think all of the um, Iron Man that you see um, in the market, it's like that. Okay. So I would have to give the scope a um, nine and a half out of ten. Um, Although a 10 would have been perfect if, you know, the body were a little bit um, larger because he has the armor on. Okay, so um, I guess our next category is uh, fit and finish. Uh, so uh, that means that if there's any mixed media like cloth, how it fits on the body. This one has virtually no mixed media unless you count like the copper wires, which adds greatly, um, as you can see, to the uh, display. Okay. It's not sculpted and you can pose these. So it's nicely done and as you can see, well, if there's any mist paint on the rock base or the Ultron body, uh, no problem there, you know, it's battle damage. So it's nice. It's really nice to have that. And then as you can see, Iron Man uh, paint, it's just fabulous. You know, the lines are clean. Uh, since this is battle damage, um, you know, any mist paint, like if the line was a little bit off, for example, right there, that's, you know, battle damage. So, uh, how, what can you say? 
right? So battle damage uh, takes away, um, you know, any sloppy paint, battle damage. So uh, it's nice. You know, um, a, I would have preferred a clean Iron Man, but then in this situation, it wouldn't make that much sense since she's just been battling Ultron robots. Okay, so the fin finish with this, I did not have anything wrong with it. And um, looking at Iron Man uh, Unmask himself, uh, no googly eyes or anything. It's just perfect. And I think they might have used a new technique for this because the head feels lighter than that head. So I wonder if they're using something else other than resin. Um, but as you can see, even the ears are detailed. Okay, down to the hair. So uh, for fit and finish, I just can't complain. So uh, for the score, I would have to give this a perfect 10 out of 10 fit and finish. As you can see, nothing wrong with this. Um, battle damage. <laughs> so that solves a lot of problem. Hey, look, you miss a paint. Well, battle damage. So that's kind of genius if uh, you know to make every statue battle damage. But anyway, okay. So uh, our next category we have is um, we will go with um, source material. So when you look at this, does it look like it's Iron Man, right? So um, when you look at this, it is Iron Man. Uh, it's the classic version. Um, you know, the suits has gone through um, many iteration, but when you look at it, you know it's Iron Man. The basic, um, you know, uh, design is there. So there's no disputing this. It's not, you know, uh, Red Tornado or any other uh, hero. It's Iron Man, and it helps you have, you know, this, the basic designs there. Okay, so um, with this, I would give uh, source material a um, perfect 10 out of 10. Uh, now with Iron Man, uh, like I said, there are many iteration of the suits. So, um, you know, XM threw in some of their own interpretation. So when you're designing, um, sculpting Iron Man, there's no wrong or right, um, I guess, uh, source material, uh, as long as all of the, you know, basic design is there. Okay. And you're good to go. All right, so uh, let me switch up to the um, classic uh, body, and then uh, I'll, um, we'll continue, okay? So I have the classic body on. As you can see, there's no gap there for, I guess, some form of uh, airflow. And then we'll turn on the arc reactor, okay? Oops. Where is it? Oh, there we go. So we're going to turn it on. Bam. Okay, so, uh, okay, continuing. Uh, we've just done source material, so now we're gonna do art direction. So as you can see, uh, this is done well. I like it uh, because it looks like he's about to um, shoot something with his um, uh, hand, and then he's just defeated uh, at least a couple of Ultron's uh, clones. Okay, so it's nicely done. Of course, it's got the one leg up. Uh, a lot of statues have that. Uh, but I like the way it's done, you know, he's just been battling and then uh, you get a lot of uh, scuffs on the armor and stuff like that. All part of the, the battle damage. Um, this is actually geniusly done, so it's not, um, you know, you can't really complain about uh, the paint app not meeting whatever standards. Okay, so art direction wise, um, I would have to give this a 10 out of 10. It's done well, he's just finish battling or he's going to start uh, fighting some more. Okay. So you can see, it's just classic Iron Man um, getting ready to blast um, with his hands. Okay. So let's remove the head. That's nice. And let me show you the back. Give you a little bit more detail. So that's a nice touch right there. Okay, and I just can't get over the paint app. I mean, it's nice and glossy. This is gloss done well. And I contrast that with the gold um, non-gloss, or not as much gloss. Okay, and then you get the discs. Really nice. Okay, so we're going to switch out the head, and then uh, we'll go with um, the last category, uh, accessories. Okay, so we're going to put this back. Very nice. And as you can see, it goes up to the neck. see more details on that. 
Okay, guys, sorry about that. The HVAC just kicked in. Uh, so anyway, uh, our last category we have is accessories. Uh, that means that uh, how many uh, you know switch outs the statue has, and uh, the base. The base counts uh, has a huge accessory uh, score too. So as you can see, um, Iron Man has two head. So he's got that one, and he's got this. Well, uh, so you can switch them out. So it's a must. Uh, it's definitely a must to have uh, a, an unmasked head and a uh, regular head. And then, of course, you know, you can see uh, the two torsos. Okay, that's the classic. That's the modern. And then, of course, you get this extra um, arc reactor that doesn't react. <laughs> so, you know, when you display, you know, the other torso like this, um, you know, there isn't a hole. And then only one of them come light up. Um, Would have been nice to have two light up ones, but... I guess it's okay because you're not gonna light this one up when you know it's display something like that. Okay, so uh, accessory wise, uh, the base is really good. Uh, I like the Ultron um, robots or clones. Um, okay, and it's sculpted very well, as you can see. It's got a lot of detail with the copper wires and then the legs and then um, uh, you know it's a very compact uh, design. As you can see, which is nice. Sometimes you want a lot of um, big bases, and then you figure out, you know, after so many statues, uh, <laughs> there isn't a lot of space to display, and the box is huge. Well, not this one, but uh, the XM stuff. So as you can see, uh, lots of details. Um, normally, I would give this a um, nine and a half out of ten. Uh, two switch out torsos, which uh, adds to display. Uh, unfortunately, they look almost exactly the same except for the triangular shape and then you get these winglets. Okay, I guess it's sucking in air or something versus not having it there. Uh, I'm okay with that. Um, so um, I would have to give this accessory a 9 out of 10. Um, simply for the fact that this right here, the hand right there, does not light up. Okay. That thing should be lit up like um, SciShow's um, Iron Man, the Mark 7, I think, uh, that came out from a few years ago. So with all Iron Man, I'm saying the arc reactor should light up. And since he's pointing, he's about to shoot something, that thing should be lit up. Okay, so there's no real excuse for that. Uh, maybe it's an oversight on their part. Uh, but I think it's more in line with, of, um, you know, uh, how can they make that lit up? Uh, this one's easy because you can just... Take this out and then replace the battery, right? Uh, however, with this one, I guess you, you're gonna have to, like, yeah, ooh, strong magnet. You know, somehow uh, put a battery somewhere in there and then um, have it lit up. So I would have to give uh, the accessories a nine out of 10. It's not bad, it's got enough accessories. It's just that uh, I guess you can call it not a fatal flaw, but. Uh, that part needs to be lit up, okay, nice and bright, just like the um, uh, SciShow ones, okay. So other than that, um, I'm very happy with this statue, uh, and I just can't get over how good the head sculpt is. It looks like it came out right, right out of the comic book, okay. It's really nicely done. I'm a little surprised that it's done this well, but then not really. Um, this is XM. So um, they do some quality stuff. Expensive, yes, but high quality. And then let me give you more details on these things. And I just can't get over the um, the gloss on the... Yeah, since this is my first Iron Man from XM, uh, I had heard that the other ones are done really well. So I'm a believer now. Okay. So you get that. And more Ultron details. Okay, so uh, overall score. Um, a couple of things I guess held this back. Uh, one, you know, with the I know it's a little bit nitpicking, but right there it should be lit up. Okay, there's no uh, reason for it not to be. And then that's lit up, so that's good. Uh, two heads. Um, this one's done really well, so I would probably display this over this. Although you know you can switch it back and forth once in a while, so that's fine. And then two torsos, which I'm probably never gonna display this. Uh, I like the classic look, okay? Uh, so uh, overall, I would have to give this a nine out of 10. Uh, normally I would say it's a nine and a half, but it's missing the light up feature right there. And uh, the armor could be a little bit, um, you know, 
bigger because uh, um, underneath, you know, it's a body, so it shouldn't be conforming to the body like uh, superhero tights or anything like that. Okay, so other than that, um, I would, um, yeah, I'd give this a 9 out of 10. Uh, highly recommend it if you guys can still pick this up. Um, Cause Iron Man is pretty popular, um, I guess due to the movie with Robert Downey Jr. So um, uh, if you don't snatch this one up, uh, they don't go for that much more because the buying price is already high. Uh, but I think this is the only Iron Man classic that I'll ever need. Uh, and then, um, you know, I'll just play this with the um, Hulkbuster that hopefully will be coming in uh, next year, 2018 sometimes. Okay, and then uh, that's gonna be a riot. That thing's so awesome. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. And then I guess we'll see you next time. Uh, next up, I have uh, Boba Fett uh, from XM coming in. Uh, probably a couple months, it'll be on the boat. Um, so uh, that'll be the next XM one unless something else uh, surprisingly show up. Okay, so thanks again for watching and then we'll see you next time for another one. Bye.